Justin, uh, you've coached a lot of big name fighters, in, you know, in big fights. I remember the Tito and Vitor Belfort days, obviously the BJ Penn and Matt Hughes days, uh, Joe Riggs. You know, there's been a lot of names that you've been involved in. And how did you connect with Travis Brown? I've never really heard that. Well, I guess there is maybe a Hawaii thing there going on. You, you've you been in Hawaii, you've been a gym owner. Is that where you met him? Or where did you guys connect, you and Trav and, and uh, Edmund? You know, it's, it's kind of funny. Uh, just a few years back, I, I met Trav, and we kind of just kind of connected, and we talked a little bit, and we'd see each other, you know, throughout the years at little events or whatever. And somehow, some way, you know, at the award show, we'd just be sitting next to each other randomly or whatever happened. And uh, and when I first met Trav, it was kind of like the new era of heavyweight, if you will. You know, I was kind of uh, an older fighter, older heavyweight, um, smaller heavyweight. And uh, I was looking at these new guys, these big, huge guys, six foot five plus, you know, 260 pounds plus, coming into the heavyweight division. And Trav was one of those guys. And I looked at him and I saw a lot of potential in that. And I said, wow, you know, that's kind of like the new era heavyweight, these big guys that can run and shoot and uh, and fight in all areas, kind of like a small man, but just in a big man's body. And that makes for a really exciting fight for the heavyweight division and for, you know, for the, for the fans and everyone. So um, I just you know, wanted to kind of get with that and, and help that develop and, and look for, you know, make a relationship with Travis where I could help him develop into something, you know, and then maybe, you know, look for a campaign to get maybe, you know, a title shot or something like that. I really think he's got the potential and I think he's got the ability, you know, it's just about going into these fights and being smart and having the right game plan. Justin McCauley will definitely help you prepare when the when the matchup includes a southpaw, is that something that just kind of happened, or is that something where you've studied the game over the course of the last few years and feel like you you know where to pick out some of these advantages? Well, you know, um, I guess it's not a secret any longer. I I, I do have a, a knack for for putting together game plans against southpaws, and and um, it's just something that I picked up over the years living basically in a boxing and kickboxing gym and MMA gym my whole life. You know, I grew up in this sport, um, and, you know, this this is my life. And so I studied every aspect of this game, you know, as deeply as I could, whether it be the wrestling, the jiu-jitsu, the boxing, the kickboxing, or, or even the supplemental martial arts before that, taekwondo, aikido, judo, hapkido, stuff like that. And so... You start to learn things about, you know, footwork and, and positioning and angles and some things that haven't really been addressed with a lot of camps and a lot of fighters. And I think a lot of stand-up fighters look into our world and say, wow, there's a lot of elementary mistakes that they're making. But they don't take into account the grappling, the kicking, the elbowing, the brutality of being able to run somebody into a fence, the no breaking when, when you tie up and things like that. So there's a lot of dynamics that change their abilities. But once you learn those other aspects of the fight, and then you can start to attack those angles and, and, and expose those other aspects of the game. You've reached a new level, you know, and so um, those are those are the types of things that I try to work with the fighters on, and um, we've had great results so far. There's a lot of guys.